Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial of the series. Today's lesson will be based on editable polygons. Now we have worked a bit on editable splines before. There's even editable mesh, but editable polygons play a very big part when using 3D Studio Max. You can even use this when creating cars, buildings, objects, or even people for that matter. So pay attention to this tutorial as we're going to be showing you the very basics so you can understand what this is about. Let's start off by creating a sphere. So just click and drag in your viewport. So we've got a sphere. Now to turn it into an editable poly, you just right click, convert to an editable poly. As soon as you click that, uh, our modifier panel automatically pops up, showing us different parameters and rollouts. And in a stack area, if you click on the little plus, it drops down the different elements we've got within our editable poly. So we've got the vertex. Um, let me just zoom into one of these. So all these dots surrounding our object now, the vertices, and then right below that we've got the edge. Uh, I'll select everything and zoom in. Now these are what joins up our vertices. And we've got a border. Can't really appear on this, but it's normally, uh, it normally surrounds the whole object uh, when you're working with something with corners or something like that. Now the polygon allows us to select these actual faces in here. And each one of them can be modified separately. And the element is pretty much the whole uh, the whole object, but we don't need that right now. So I'll go back to the polygon. Now with the polygon, then I can just click on my select and move tool and literally start controlling my object. So I can select a different one. And just move it out, drag it out. So you see we're already making changes to our object. Now one other thing you can do, I'm just going to extrude some areas. So within this panel, you just scroll, scroll down to uh, the edit polygons, roll out, click on extrude. And that, that sort of drags it out and extrudes that face. Let's go to the vertex. Now each one of these vertices can be controlled as well. But one thing you notice, uh, for example, I've tried selecting um, a vertex here. So as soon as I click and drag, I can either select one by one or I can also hold down control and select multiple vertices. Or I can just click and drag to select however many I want. But the problem with that is the moment you do this, it's automatically se selecting other vertices at the back of our object. So I'll just maximize this. So we've got these vertices selected, then we've got those selected, but we only wanted these vertices. So the way to go around that problem is by clicking or checking this box here, which is ignore back facing. So as soon as I click that, I go back to where I selected my, my three vertices what you notice is we've only affected this area here and nothing at the back. So I'll try that again somewhere. See, we're literally just affecting the front face, uh, which is which is here, and nothing at the back's been selected. So that's pretty much how to control your, your vertices. And with regards to lines, so anything you can select, you can edit it, you can 
extrude it you can do whatever you want with it but we'll explore more with regards to um, functionality of these as you go through the more informative lessons and if I click that now I'm just controlling the whole object I could select multiple faces go to extrude then I can extrude them all but when I do that what happens is I'm literally extruding them all as one object since they're all selected uh, just control Z to undo if you want to extrude each face on its own was was selected as a group you just click on that little uh, box on the right side of the word extrude and that pops up the settings uh, for the extrude polygons here you can select either by group uh, local normal or by polygons as soon as you click polygons it allows you to now control each face uh, as if you're extruding them separately And I think um, as a quick overview of how polygons work, I think I'll leave it at that as we are trying to get through this quickly so that we can start working on actual projects rather than um, looking at the interface still. So um, now I hope you understand that polygons will be our main polygons will be our main tool with regards to creating objects and doing quite a lot of different things uh, within within Studio Max. So I'll ask that you just practice a little bit more, but um, on the next tutorials, we'll be focusing on them more. So thank you very much for tuning in today and I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. Bye.